Hey, it's time to dish with D. That's me. It's time for a WW weigh in and meeting topic du jour. All right, D. How was your weigh in yesterday? I was up 1.6. You know what? Here's the thing. I'm not going to sit there and say it was who cares what it was or what you think it is. It doesn't really matter why or if you know why. Do I know why? Not really. Um, do I care? Not really. I am above goal by 6.6 pounds. .6 so I'm going to make up WW goal. You have two pounds to go over before they consider you, um, I guess, out of the zone and they want to uh, charge you. So I wouldn't be charged. But it's not worth going over in my head. Did I do this? Did I not do this? Is it this? Is it? In, in the end, does it matter? No. It, the scale says what the scale says. I mean, if I wait on a different day, would it say something different? Most likely, might might be worse. But that's the thing. Like, this is the day you pick, and this is the roll of the dice you get, like it or not. So I've I've come to the conclusion that it is what it is, and I just keep doing what I do, and that's all I can do, and that's all I want to do. I'm not going to sit there and mull it over or think about it or you know, it, it the end it doesn't matter. It's in the past. Today is another day. I start and I do what I need to do. If I have another game next week, again, oh well, you can only do, I can only do what I can only do. I'm only in control of what I'm in control of. And if I'm doing what I'm doing and the scale doesn't reflect that, not much I can do. I'm not going to drive myself crazy over it. It's not worth it to me. It just isn't. It's, it's, I'm not obsessing because then I've not grown. You know, I go, I, like I say this all the time, you give, I gave up overeating for obsessing. What's the difference? You can sit there and say, well, oh, obsessing is healthier. Not really. So let's move on to the topic. And let me know how you did in your way. in Take back your time. Ooh. Take back my time. If you've had, tr if you're having trouble coming to grips with the fact that it's almost fall. I love the fact that it's almost fall. I am so stoked that it's almost fall. So I don't know. I'm a little happy about that. Us too. Like, who? I don't know. Uh, yeah, summer's not my jam. Summer has never been my jam. So I'm always, I'm a fall girl. This is my favorite time of the year. So, bad summer. Fall's here. <laughs> time can play some serious tricks on us humans. And this year has been no joke. You think? <laughs> days feel super slow when nothing changes in our routines for weeks and months. I felt the days were super duper fast. I don't know where this last six months have gone. I don't know. It can feel like we blinked and the year's almost over. It's no surprise how we spend our time can have a big impact on our health and our well-being. That's why it is key to make time for our favor, make time in our favor by paying attention to how we're spending the hours of the day. This arms us with the right info to help us make mindful tweaks in our lives and make room for the list that we've always wanted to accomplish. I'm not a list person not even close what to do feel like time is escaping you my whole lifetime has been escaping me let's face it i mean i'm 54 where the heck did that go i remember celebrating my 10th birthday and so thrilled that i was double digits so now here i'm 54 yeah i mean legit at a blink of an eye use one of the steps below to pinpoint where time is going and how can you save it you can't save your time you just can't. It goes like that. I'll give you that little clip before we even read this. Uh, number one, set. Set an alarm for every hour one day this week. When it goes off, write down what you did during that hour. I don't like that. No, I'm not doing that. Bonus, use the alarm as a cue to take breaks from sitting or grab some water. That's a little bit better. That's always a good, you know, to change up what you're doing. You know, grab a glass. Drink. Whew. Talk about an added win-win. Yeah, that's the only thing I get out of that one. It's fun to change up what you're doing. If you're sitting, you can stand, you can drink. Don't be writing this stuff down. I mean, they want us to be like these journal people that journal. And if you're not a journaler, you just can't be one because Weight Watchers tells you to be one. Because some of us aren't writers. I'm not a writer. I've come to that I'm not a writer. I'm more of a thinker. I'm more of a watcher. I'm not a writer. And that's how we all learn differently. And, and... You can't make yourself what you're not inbred to be. 
Create, create a cozy corner for yourself at the end of the day and reflect on how you spent your hours. Mark down next to each activity, whether it was must do or want to do, or I'm not sure, jot down what you also wish you'd gotten into. Again, I sit down and write. That's not me. I mean, it's nice to sit down and reflect a few, a few minutes, but yeah, I'm not jotting stuff down. Not happening. I'm sorry this isn't very interesting. <laughs> look, look at, I'm not, look at your I'm not sure and want to do columns. Is there anything you could cut back on and do anything on your wish list? If you want to watch TV at night, try saving it for after you meal prep tomorrow's breakfast. And not everybody's meal prepper, so. I don't meal prep, I food prep, and I don't do it all the time. Then again, I have the time to make stuff in the morning and in the afternoon. So, I mean, I get people that don't, but I don't need to put this, this is again, not my topic. I just, it's basically, you know, I would say, and my topic would be take time out for yourself. That would be my, that take, but take time out for yourself and, and give yourself some, um, must needed um, rest, give yourself so much needed encouragement, um, do something that you love to do. You know, if you love to crit, knit, crit, knit, crochet, paint, craft, like what is something that you enjoy taking a walk, going to the store by yourself? I would say that would be take back your time. And, and I always say my favorite thing is to treat yourself with a little kindness and pamper yourself because we work hard on this journey and I think once in a while a nice bubble bath a nice trip to the mall get your nails done whatever you want to a massage would be fabulous I know it's hard during this pandemic to do any of these fun things but if you can or find something you can do something find something that you enjoy that you haven't done in forever because of your life has gotten in the way then we have husbands we have kids we have jobs we have pets and when we put everybody ahead of us and some once in a while, it's good to put you just for maybe that one hour that, you know, a week, you put yourself first and give yourself something that you enjoy. And it's just like your reward for being on plan all week because you, and you look forward to that. You'd be like, oh, I'm looking forward to my whatever this week because I've been good and and I'm going to reward myself with whatever. Is it reading a good book? Is it sitting out your deck, sitting by the pool or you say, don't bother me. I have an hour to myself because you deserve, you deserve, heck, we deserve a day. But you know what? Sometimes it's just an hour here and there that we could grab for ourselves. And it's not selfish. It's not because you know what? Self-care is huge. Go give yourself a nice um, mask. It's always nice. Like, get your eyebrows done. Always fun. I mean, things like that. Like it's something simple as doing an exfoliating to your face. You know, I, I, you know, taking care of your skin is huge, especially when we lose weight because our skin is the first thing that, um, it's a, our skin is a muscle. So when, when we rob our body of things, it first thing to go is hair and skin because you don't want your heart or brain or kidneys to go. So the muscles that they use to, that takes away is always your skin and your hair because it's kind of the least important thing on your body. So you'll find like we definitely need to up our skincare routine. We definitely need to take care of our hair. There's vitamins and stuff out there or just a good hair mask and, and get our hair cut. Sometimes a nice haircut helps our hair tremendously. So oh, who doesn't love going to get their hair done? I love going to get my hair done. And that's always, to me, is a treat. I just love sitting there and oh, yeah, do my hair. I do. I love it. So that's my take of this topic. I'm sorry if you didn't enjoy it. I do apologize. But that is, you know, take back your time to me is give yourself some time. That's what I'd say. Give yourself an hour here and there for pampering. I say this all the time, self-care. We work hard on this journey. This journey is not easy. And I applaud every one of you for taking it. And it's, you know, it's not for the faint of heart because food is good. And a lot of food is always good. But yeah, saying no to that second helping. I hear you, girlfriend. Say no to that dessert. I got you there. It's not easy. But, you know, we find a way. We can always do what we can do. You know what? Um, do this plan as you're going to live the rest of your life. Because that is what you want out of this. You want to make small you want to make changes that you can continue for the rest of your life fit in the desserts because you know what you, you know you're going to want them it's life i fit my chips in i fit my desserts in i you know i fit my regular pasta in because that's the things that i know i'm going to go for i just am and i have to find a way to live with them and i do so and i know you can too 
It's a, is it work? Yes, ma'am, it is work. I won't lie to you there. It definitely takes work, takes thought, and takes sometimes preparation. But you can do it. You can. You owe it to yourself to try. All right. I hope you enjoyed this meeting topic. I, it was a little bit different than printed. But you know what? Dee does her own thing. You know what I'm saying? So if you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. Let you know when I upload and when I go live. I go live every night on my channel. It'll be now at a new time, starting Sunday, tomorrow, um, it, which is the day before Labor Day. I don't know when this video is going to go up. It should go up today. 8 p.m. Eastern time is the new starting time for Tea with D because I'm going back to work and it's kind of hard for me to hit the 7 o'clock time. So I'm going to do the, try to do the 8 o'clock. To continue with daily, I have to, again, we have to adjust our schedules to fit in things that we love. And I love my Tea with D people. So I want to continue that. We have a great time. And if you haven't come, you really need to. It's a great supportive group. I highly encourage it. And remember, you're only one meal away from being back on track. It's a holiday weekend. If you have a little splurge, don't punish yourself. You're a human. You get back up. Tuesday is a whole new day and you start over again. And that's how we live our lives because that's how our lives are going to be. Life comes, sometimes things come up in life like barbecues, birthdays, holidays, and cake. We have to learn how to adjust our day, fit it in. If we go over points, we go over points. That's life. And I'm not giving up a barbecue for anything. Yes, I will be mindful, but you know what? It's a holiday and I'm going to enjoy that. Even though I had a game this week, I'm still going to enjoy my weekend because it's life. I am I am not dead yet. And nor don't want to and like I said, don't I always say this all the time, do not punish yourself. Don't. Forgive forget and move on. All right, people, I'm heading in. Have a great day. We will dish another day.